Hey guys, it's Jackie. I hope you're all doing well. So I have this new ring light and I am literally struggling trying to figure out what looks good or how it looks good. I have this control thing on here that I can change like what it looks like. It is so weird to me. I don't know. You guys are going to have to let me know. And it's actually on a stand, which is different because um, I literally filmed videos propping up on three wig bath and body work candles. That is no lie. So I have quite a few things from Bath and Body Works to show you guys. And the very last item I'm going to show you is probably one of the best things I have found in a long time at Bath and Body Works and probably the most exciting. So let me show you. One thing I'm not going to go through all of it with you guys. I did find some more of the Easter body care that was 75% off. I am sending a set to my friend Twiggy. I just have not had a chance to get that to you, Twigs, so I am so sorry. But inside here are some lotion sprays and shower gel. I'll show you quickly. This is that happy Easter that we had right before COVID hit. It is sugar plum, sparkling raspberry, and candied petals. I love this stuff. You guys know that I've talked about it several times here on my channel when I found it for 75% off again. I want to say, yeah, they were $1.62, which is, in my humble opinion, a steal. So I got some of those. Um, I think that was the only thing in that one. And then I also found a 75% off one wick candle in Mary Cookie. So here it is in its little packaging. Um, I really, I've told you guys this a lot, I really don't like to burn them. But I do like to scoop these. Um, I think I'm going to take this to work in my warmer because I think this is a scent a lot of people would like. It's very um, guest friendly. So like if you had Merry C Cookie from Christmas, you know. So the scent notes are fresh baked cookies, sparkling sugar crystals, and rich vanilla. This was from last year, 2019. It's just a very good buttery, sugary cookie scent. I really like it. And for 75% off, they are normally $14.50 and I got it for $3.62. So not bad. And how many ounces? Seven ounces. So that's really good. Um, And then I picked up, I had seen, I had gone to a Bath and Body Works that I hadn't gone to yet this season. Um, one of my friends works there, so I got to see her tonight, which was really, really awesome because I haven't seen her in like four or five months. And, um, she, they had this candle, but in different packaging, but I had already picked it up, um, the day before, um, I picked it up yesterday when I came home from work and that is a pineapple mango and it's in this really pretty packaging. Um, I don't know that I've hauled this or I've tried it. At least I couldn't find if I had or not. Um, some of you guys who are really good in your memory, you will know if I've had this yet before. And it's different. And so it's three wicks. I feel like the pineapple kind of gives it a sharp note, but not bad. And the mango kind of mellows that out. But I did see it in different packaging. In the same packaging, like this candle from the day before, the lemon and sea salt. It was in this like black and white, very um, modern kind of packaging. But since I had already gotten this one, I thought I want to at least try it first before I get more of them. Because I really don't like this wheelhouse of scent. But I do like it um, for it to be different and then not to always have bakery scents. I like to put out a different kind of candle, enjoy that for a couple of days, and then I always go back to bakery or blueberry pie, you know, the chocolate scented ones. So this is fresh pineapple, juicy mango, vine ripe raspberry with essential oils. Oh, you know what? It might be the raspberry mixing with the pineapple. Sometimes it's kind of a sharp note, like a little bio-ish. I know that sounds really bad because you're supposed to be covering up scent. But I did pick up two of them. They were on the 50% off table, so I did get two. 
I will try that and see. I'm not sure. I'm on the fence with that one. It's going to be 100. But what I did get is I picked up a salted butterscotch. And it's in this very fall-like packaging. The glass is a solid glass. This is not a wraparound. The candle matches exactly to the glass. Um, that's really weird. The lip of that is kind of bubbled out. I just noticed it. That's odd. But this smells really good. It's very... I get the butterscotch, but there's another note, before I read the notes on the bottom, that's kind of familiar to me. So it's warm brown sugar, sweet cream, a pinch of sea salt, and melted butter. Is this gooey caramel from last year? This is poured, yeah, in this year. This might be gooey caramel or caramel, whatever part of the country you're from or what country you're from. It smells good. And the sea salt note gives it a really, like a very unique scent to it. Jazz has found the paper and Jake is literally standing next to her. My desk is a mess. <laughs> Telling you what, I look like a pig. But this is good. So I'm excited to burn it. I only picked up one. Um, I didn't, I had a couple of candles that I traded. Um, I really am trying very, very hard not to pay full price for candles because I think that's ridiculous, especially when some of the candles they don't, you know, perform as well or not. And then um, I did pick up another of the blueberry maple, blueberry maple pancakes. Um, we did burn this while my brother-in-laws were here and I did like it. I'm not going to lie. I like it a lot better than last year's. I don't know if it's any different or did my nose change from a year. So it is wild blueberries, griddle, fresh pancakes with warm maple syrup. When I came home from work today, we took them to the airport tonight. So I was so sad. This is going to go up on Friday morning. Um, when I came home from work, they had my candles lit and it like just made me so happy to come home to that. So I did pick up. You know, I traded for that one and this one. And I got another pumpkin pecan waffles. I love this one as well. Oh, it smells so good. Maple syrup, golden waffles, and pumpkin spice and brown sugar. And another pumpkin peanut brittle. Now, I had candles to trade for these. Oh, I love this candle so much. Crunchy caramel brittle, salty peanuts, and toasted pumpkin seeds. Love this. You guys already know that. But what I was super, super excited for, I always feel like, you know, I watch a lot of other YouTubers, you know, uh, haul different things and stuff. And I'm always like, how did they get those first? Wow, how did they get their hands on them? I saw this going through Instagram. I had no idea that it was going to hit the stores. And I will tell you right now, I paid full price for both of these candles, but I'm going to save my receipt. So when candles go on sale, I hope to get a price adjustment. Hopeful. Candles have not been on sale. There are only like certain candles that are 50% off and they're not the ones we want. But <laughs> look at this candle, you guys. It is hot cocoa and scream and this packaging is absolutely adorable i had seen someone talking about this on instagram with the full moon and it is a cream can't colored candle or something in there three wicks like all the other candles but this on cold is not hot cocoa and cream like the play on words, hot cocoa and scream. I hope my ring light's not too bright for that. That's the other thing I can do is I can actually turn it down. Look at that. Hot cocoa and scream. It's got a witch uh, flying on a broom. This is very different than hot cocoa and cream. And I cannot wait to start burning it so I can get a real good feeling for it. It is deep dark chocolate, fresh steamed milk, and mischievous, mischievous, if she could only talk, mini marshmallows. Very, very different than hot cocoa and cream. But like I said, it's only on cold. I have not burned it. Obviously, I literally just got this candle. Well, 
I say this candle, but in true Jackie form, let's do a thumbnail. You like that? I got two. <laughs> I paid full price. I It is what it is. It's very different and cold than hot cocoa and cream. So I'm super, super excited to burn this. I am not a Halloween fan. I've never been a big fan of Halloween. Um, I do get like some haunted houses like with Scentsy and different things. I got that haunted house from Bath the Body Works last year. I got some of the candles. Um, growing up, the religion I grew up, we did not celebrate Halloween. So it's not something that's ingrained in me. But when I saw this in person in the store tonight, I was like, yep, I am buying both of these. And if I can get a price adjustment, I will. Oh, so excited. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're having a great night, day, week, whenever it is that you are watching this. You have no idea how much you mean to me. I appreciate all of your support. As always, be kind. Be kind to yourself. Um, I feel like I'm being challenged in life to be kind, but I am working on it and I'm going to do a good job. I am human. I make mistakes too. Um, it's just, I feel like, you know, having gone through this pandemic, if you will, is just really showing me like things that I need to work on, things I'm not going to accept anymore, things I'm not willing to put up with. And it's just, you know, I always say to Joe, like, I have you, I have our home, we have him, we have Jazz, my dad, different family members that we are blessed with. But sometimes it's just, you know, you have to go through a pandemic, I guess, to like appreciate things more. I hope you're well, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!